Hey, let's talk about the idiom dict zip to generate dictionaries. So the dict built in allows you to create dictionaries in a bunch of different ways. And in particular, if you ask for the help on dict, you'll see that one way in which the dict built in can create objects is by giving it an iterable. And an iterable is just something you can go through, for example, a list or a tuple. And then it says that if you give it an iterable, it will, it will create a new dictionary initialized as if. And then it says that the iterable is assumed to contain the keys and the values, and it will then fill in the keys and the values. So one thing that can happen a lot is when you have say an iterable of the keys and another iterable with the values so these are the two letter country codes for these countries and one way to initialize a dictionary with these keys and these values is exactly to start with an empty dictionary and then to go through the two iterables, say with, with an index for i in range length of codes. And then in D, we access with the given key and we set it to the given value. Now, this is something very common. Or this is, sorry, so this is something you might want to do. Take an iterable of keys and an iterable of um, values and put them inside the dictionary. And this is one way to do it with the loop that you see here. But in fact, the best way to do this is by using the zip built-in. Because the zip built-in, let's see what it does. If you give it the codes and the countries, it puts them together. It joins each code with each country. And so what this means is that instead of doing this for loop, what we can do is we can call, we can take the zip, which is an iterable, and instead of passing it to the list, which I only used so that we could see what was being created, we can use the zip built in. And why does this work? Well, because zip of codes and countries is exactly an iterable like in the documentation. So this iterable here, we are using it or we are replacing it with zip or we are using zip as the iterable here. And so this dict zip idiom is one very common way of building a dictionary in Python and it shows up from time to time and this is the reason why it works.